Hey people, Homestead Prepper, and I'm coming to you approximately 12 years after the collapse. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is part two of how to buy a shipping container, and the, the reason I'm doing the video is my uh, folks are in the market for one or two shipping containers, and they've been doing some looking around, and uh, shipping containers uh, are not as easy to come by now as they were a couple years ago. Um, they used to be all over for sale. I don't know if uh, the, there's just not that many around or if there's a lot more demand. But uh, they found a, a company in Orlando that said that they would uh, send a shipping container over $2,650 delivered and it would be guaranteed to be water and rainproof, leakproof, wind, you know, waterproof, whatever. And uh, my dad asked if he could go over and look at it, and they said no. They said it was guaranteed. Well, well, guys, uh, I, and, and they wanted you to prepay. So uh, I'm just telling you that I, I don't think that's the the wisest advice in the world is to prepay on something that you know sight unseen because when it gets delivered and it doesn't have a roof or a floor to it, just the sides, uh, you might be a little disappointed. So um, you want something you can physically go look at and check it out. And my, my dad asked me to go look at a couple containers with him. I'm going to take you all along and just, just show you a couple things. Okay, I'm out with my dad. We're looking at shipping containers. They're wanting to buy one, my parents. And if you look at this one, I think it's 3150, and it's in really good shape. It's got a couple specks of rust. And let me take you over here and show you this one. You can zoom in on that. This one's $200 less, and it's got a whole lot more rust on it. I don't know if that's coming up in the video or not. Let's see if I can get it from another angle. Okay, you can see some of the rust. We can zoom in, but it's got a couple spots on it that looks pretty bad. And it would need some attention. Or you could pay the money and get one over here that's in better shape. So Okay, this is the one that's more expensive and it feels a lot more solid when you stand on it and it looks in pretty good shape. Okay guys, a couple things in closing. I just want to say that, you know, sometimes it's, you're better off just to spend a little extra money and get something in a whole lot better condition. And, you know, warranties are good if you can get the people to honor them. Uh, if you get, you know, that, that rusty one that you saw came with a, uh, I think it was a six month warranty. And I guess if it started leaking and, you know, ruined some of your, uh, your valuables, uh, and you complain enough, a guy would probably come out there with a caulk gun and fix it. Um, or something, how long that would last. But the, uh, the other container was a little bit more money, and I think it would uh, afford you a lot more protection for your valuables. Uh, something else I was going to say is if you meet somebody and they say that, you know, they'll send you a container out and they guarantee you'll like it and it'll be in excellent shape, then, uh, then, they could send it out COD. So, and you would of course have the right to refuse it if it uh, shows up and it, you know, looks like it's been through a war or something, or you know, it's been underwater for a couple months and they pulled it out of the ocean. So, um, uh, I would do that. Any reputable company, I'm sure, would have no problem of you checking out their stuff before you buy it. Um, I really personally like dealing with um, um, private private individuals, but. Uh, like I said before, there's not a whole lot of people who are selling shipping containers anymore. The, the market, uh, there seems to be a higher demand and less product out there. So anyway guys, those, those were a couple things I wanted to run by you. Homestead Prepper out.